At Tenryoji's command, we broke off into our teams. Oh, we already decided? You can't. Kay carried Quark on his back and you dragged Dio along the floor and through the white door on the left. It's the white door is saying oh, you, this can't, other you can't decide. Yeah. yeah. Clover and Luna carried Alice through the door on the right. And Tenmyoji, Phi, and myself ran through the center door. Wow, we got lucky. We don't have to carry nobody. No. Until chromatic doors closed. Also, if we fucked up, we would die, and our uh, caught the other person that's us would also die. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Why? The tension. There's like no tension during this countdown. So why are you doing it? It would make more sense if we were like running to the chromatic doors, but we're not. So it's counting. The, it's the only unskippable dialogue in the game. Yeah. So like it's counting down. Never relevant. Almost seems like you're doing it to like try to remind the player that like, hey, I'm gonna give you like you know 10 seconds to make sure that you're in a place where you can stop playing the game and put it down they and also do something make it else. Ten separate. They make the ten numbers three separate dialogue boxes, which yeah. means the pacing is going to be fucked up if you don't press A perfectly on time. Where the countdown would be but, better if you- Ah! Uh... Oh my god. Is this room not a room? Is this not a puzzle room? Is it just like, you win? What the hell? There's nothing here. Well, there are doors. Are there? The one we came in. <clears throat> and that one, which I'm assuming is the exit. Oh, we're Temioja, that we were with K. Yep, figures. Whoops. Won't budge. The plaque on the door just said Q. God damn it! They brought back the Q door! <laughs> you cannot see our faces, but we're. I am literally taken aback. I don't know what to say uh, by the sheer brazenness that you would you would even mention this goddamn door again. I can't believe they brought back the Q door. I've been referring to it as a joke all game. I am, I am not pleased. Uh, in state of affairs. Um, can we please get a redo? Q. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Really. Now someone's just being a smart ass. Yeah. Damn, Timmy Timmy Oji's like, it wasn't funny the first time and ain't funny now. Like, really? Really, Santa? It wasn't funny when you did it? Because it was you. Huh? It, it's Santa, he did it. He was the key, he's the one that made the cue last time. <sighs> Nothing. Maybe the cue is for question. You fucking idiot. Just don't fucking pretend you don't know what it is. <laughs> you fucking idiot. I'm just furious at him right now. It's too well, I guess it is a very questionable room. We are too far in the true ending for people to be doing anything besides just fucking saying the truth about everything. Yeah. If there was a deck of cards here, maybe the cue would be for Queen. Really? Maybe it could be this if there was something here that's not in this room. Maybe. It, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe if we were on, look, maybe if we had a world map. It maybe might... if there was ice cream in here, it could stand for quartz. <laughs> And maybe if there was a map in here, it'd stand for Kuwait. <laughs> Kuwait does not start have a Q in it. God damn it, Andrew. <laughs> there was a Q in Japanese. <laughs> be fitting with the last fucking game where the Q didn't even fucking make sense because it's a Japanese pun for so, nine. This is so dumb. <laughs> That's a quality guess right there. Quality starts with a Q. Oh shit. Fucking busting this open. We should have theorcrafted about the letter Q when we were coming up with our endings, Andrew. Why does Temioji look like he's gonna punch us in the face? <laughs> <laughs> he just does that a lot. Well, we need to get out of here. Let's find a way to get the door open. We also need to find the star keys. I've got enough BP to open the door, but you guys need to play the AB game some more. Yeah. A lot. We still need a few more points. If we can get those star keys, we should be able to play the AB game as many times as we need to. So... It's just a matter of time until we get the points we need. Right. Well, let's get started then. Good. Okay. Sneak away! Yeah. You, uh, you, you, uh, you, want, you want us to what now? Yeah. All white the final room! room. What was his voice? Old man. Okay. <laughs> <It's> okay! 
What am I supposed to do here? The room's empty. Set me you're sounding hoarse all of a sudden. Are you okay? I didn't think the queen joke was that funny. Wait, oh. <laughs> that was a weird glitch, right? Freaked out for a second. Yeah. Wait. Do you hear something? Huh. Oh, yeah, the beeping. Uh. Uh. uh what, what, wait, what? Don't you dare Rubik's Cube me. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> well, how much you want to bet it has something to do with that? Guess we should go, uh, to have a look. Speed up? Speed up. You remember the speed up control? I know. Speed it up. Makes my mouse move faster. Yeah, speed up. Speed up! Oh, please don't be a Rubik's Cube. What if we do have to enter all of the safe codes? <laughs> hey, I think this cube is just floating here. How the hell is it doing that? Who knows? Can't tell just by looking at it. Why don't you touch it and see if anything happens? Uh. Oh no. Are we doing lights out crossed with a minesweeper? I was gonna say, is this minesweeper? Oh no, it is. You've gotta be shitting me. <laughs> There's no way this is Minesweeper. <laughs> Am I supposed to click on it? Wait. Oh, what? I guess there's no mine here. Can you at only first, have one at, first, at a time? At first I thought it was lights out. Three. Is there a nine somewhere? Can you turn the cube? I think I'm supposed to. I'm like, I think I'm supposed to give up. Uh, I don't understand what's going on here. Have another look at it. Huh? The cube. Look at it again. There are winning and losing panels on the wall. The cube can help you find the winning panels. Oh, so it's telling us where the, where, where to click on the walls. Oh. When the, winni uh, when the winning panels and only the winning panels are highlighted in cyan, the system will activate. I want you to know this isn't a very good puzzle. It sounds like a huge this. pain in the ass, could honestly. You, you Here's how you find the winning panels. When you select the panel of the cube, it will display a number. Each surrounding panel will also display a number. This number indicates the number of winning panels that border each panel. So we have to find all the mines in Minesweeper. Really? The I'm just like... They did. They did Minesweeper. You put Minesweeper into an escape room. They, I, I would kind like of it, want my money back. They put in Minesweeper like that's a puzzle. It is not. And that's their final escape room puzzle. This is the penultimate. Like the room's so cool, the whole thing has to be white. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of reveal. The Q door puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> it's Minesweeper. It's, it's Minesweeper. It's fucking Minesweeper. Uh, I can see how it could, might be marginally cool for like a dual screen game, although this was also on Vita, so eh. So eh. So eh. Eh. How does this number system work? Your face. But I know what your face needs is... So here's what's weird about this system, Andrew. Yes. It, if, when it's, when it's counting adjacent panels, it counts itself. You see that? That, that three... If it was only counting adjacents, it would like if it was if it was real minesweeper rules, that three would be a two, and those twos would be ones, because they each have one adjacent, but they're counting themselves as adjacent. Wait, yeah, that's not how minesweeper works. No, of course the mines aren't supposed to have numbers at all. No. But yeah, that's how this is working. What are you doing? Are oh, you trying to put foam back up? Oh, well, goodbye, Andrew. Note one, the hint that appears on the cube is different for each side. Hi- That's big text. Hypothetically, if the wall with the exit is the north wall, then the wall to the right of that would be the east wall. <clears throat> the east wall, which would make the wall at uh, the entrance the south wall, and the wall to the left would be the west wall. That would mean that a hint that appears on the west side would automatically refer to the east wall. A hint that appears on the north side would refer to the south wall. They're just saying it's the one we can see behind it. Mm -hmm. And hint that... Blah, 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 blah. Note two. The adjacent walls don't provide hints for one another. So just saying a two on the edge of it doesn't mean that there's one on the other wall. 
Each hint is specific to that wall. That means that even if there's winning panels on the border of adjacent wall, those panels won't be infected. Uh, there are also eight, there are a total of eight puzzles hidden in the walls. Oh, so we have to find eight mines, I think is what they're trying to say. Eight puzzles is not a correct phrasing? No. Examine the floor to view the message one more time. After that, it'll be gone forever. <laughs> Why is there a limit on how many times you can read the tutorial? But, okay. Yeah, I don't know about that. Right. Um, so let's do this. Let's see here. I guess we're going to play some games. Do you want to play a game? Well, here. Fucko. Uh, or I guess I'll write it this way so it's more accurate. Boop, boop. So just tell me what line I need to be looking. I think it's these two. Uh, what? Oh. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, this is going to be more interesting. So we're going to solve Minesweeper, and then that's going to create a puzzle chamber around us. Okay. Neat. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> interesting. So that's how this one works. It looks like there's more of them. We should keep looking. Go, go back. Oh, to the wise box. cube. Go back to the. I'm just gonna solve the entire room. I'm not gonna fucking. Wait, are you gonna do this every time? Oh my god, I thought it would only could say I read this one more time. I'm just gonna solve the whole room if I can. Cause why bother try to play with the other objects if they're gonna be not completable? Okay, so all three panels on the right side. This is it's gonna be less obscure of a solution in part because these things are all laid out in a way to make the panels of the to make the environment play out. Uh wait, what the fuck? What? Why to go back in? <laughs> that is hard. Maybe you're doing it in the wrong order. There might be another device you need to get active first before this one will stay out. Gross. Because they conflict with each other. Alright, let's just see if there's any other ones in this. I don't think there was, though. No. Going to the center? Wow. Well, okay. Oh, yeah, it's, just, good. it's just those two spots. Alright, well, let's check that wall then, since apparently something else there has to come out first. Right, right, right around here. Yep. Okay. Oh, boy. So it's along this wall. It's one, two, three, four tall. Yeah. I mean, I'll admit, this is better than the... Yeah, well, but then that's gonna come out inside of yeah. it. This is better than the library. <laughs> oh, the one that had Sheldrake in it? Yeah. It, it's a little silly, because it's like... It's, it's, it's fine, it's fine as an idea, the weird... I'm, I'm happy there's more to it than just this dumb Minesweeper thing, because Minesweeper's so easy. Yeah. But it's mostly just like a slightly gimmicky way of making the room spawn around us. It's also a great way to not have to texture the room. Because <laughs> it's just a grid. It's also true. It's like, remember that guy that made the live action Freedom, uh, the, the live action uh, Five Nights at Freddy's games we played? Yeah. All of his other games look like this. His entire catalog that wasn't live action all looked like a series of boxes. That was the entire level and all the mechanics and all the items. I... That's unfortunate. Alright, well that's all that was on that wall. Oh, it's getting crowded over here. Alright, I imagine it's all empty up here though, right? Are any of the walls gonna use the top half at all? Yeah, next one. Yeah, do you think there'll be one that uses it? Yeah. Wow. Uh... This one's gonna be a little bit more of a pain in the ass, isn't it? Yeah, so which, uh... Let's see. One, two, three here means that it has to be this one. So one, two, three refers to this one, this one, and this one for this three. This three also refers to this one, this one, and this one. So it's just a solid area. These ones are four because it's the ones to the left and right and below them and themselves because they count yeah. themselves. So Wait, it's just so the whole bottom just... No. These ones say two. Yeah. That means something else. But that one says zero. Now it says one. So that means it sticks up here. Okay. So the shape starts out as this cube. 
and it goes. Okay, so draw three by two, like three across, two down on the right side of this thing to start our building. It starts off as this area, as this shape that's like three across, two down. Okay. Just so we can keep the shape going. And then two down? Y yeah. From the three like, or from after the three? It's a three by two. I'm not drawing a line. I'm saying it's a three by two box so far. Okay. That's not it. What? Wait, oops. Do you know what three by two means as a dimension? Like three that? across, two down is the dimensions of it. Yeah, like that? Like how you measure wood? Yeah. I can't see it. Oh. Go after your hand. Like that? Well, make it, make it, f fill it in. Oh. Three by two. Oh, you want me to like draw all the squares? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. We're drawing what it looks like. Okay. So, because means I can't like... keep it all of it in my head at once as we continue to explore okay. A. So, how many squares are there? Just draw, just draw a three across, two down, but on the right side so we have space to go left because we're exploring towards the left from here. Okay. That's all we need to draw. All right, so... So just start on the right side and just draw a three by two. Three. And then we can keep going from there. Three. Okay. There. Okay, then. I'll figure out what the rest looks like now. All right. So after this three by two, it does go up because there's this two. Let's see. That's a one. So... Oh, that's all it is. Okay, so it's just a three by three and a three by two. Okay, that wasn't really necessary to draw, I guess. Cool. Boop, 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 doop. Whoa. Ah, ah, <laughs> it's coming out when I'm not done. Stop it. Hey, dice. Oh no, not more books. Is that not right? Uh. It is that high. Oh, this is only a three. Whereas, the, okay, there might be a gap. Four, three. There's a gap, okay. There we go. Whoa. Yep, there was a gap in the middle. That's why there were threes. What? More dice. More dice. <laughs> and then the books that say dice on them. Okay. And I verified there was nothing up there, right? Uh, you have not verified this place. No, I mean, I verified there was nothing on top of the Yes. Wall. Like, the top half was not used. Yes. Okay, never mind. Top half. They just never used. used the top half, making it totally redundant. Cool. Ones. Oh, this one's it does have the dartboard in front of it and the... So it's literally this spot right here. Ta-da! Oh look, puzzles we've seen before. Okay. You recognize that one? Yeah. Let's see. So this is all empty, right? Cool. so much more annoying that I have to keep pressing it instead of just like leaving it on. Uh, so there has to be one here. Yeah. And there has to be one here. And there has to be one there, but not there. So it's just this little shape right here. Uh, uh, oh. oh, there's the safe. Right, we need that. But that's also another one of those telegram pads. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, they said there was eight. Can we get the cube to go away now? Because it's in our way. <laughs> it's Press just back, visibly. I guess? It's just visibly. No, I can't go back. This is the back for you. Oh. The cube's just visibly in our way for the rest of the challenge, I guess. Cool. Cool. All right, so let's look at the uh, teleport. No, that probably opens up when I solve it, huh? Yeah. Uh, let's click on it anyway, just to make sure it's n we, we don't ignore it. I. I think I've seen this something. I've seen something like this before. Oh, you mean one of those exercise machines where you twist your hips around? No, not a no, fit. no. I don't think so. <laughs> this doesn't look like a fitness machine to me. Kind of ruins it when you take it so seriously. This is is a. Uh... Damn it! I can't remember. 
Wait, Wait, I that's it. not possible because how I you... love amnesia storyline. Yeah, but he can't where not we just remember, don't remember it. whatever the fuck. Yeah, it's literally how we have one of the codes yeah, that we got that got us here. I, I it's such a fucking crutch to contrive scenarios where you can just toggle on your characters and your entire cast's memories whenever you feel like it. And just in case morphogenic fields were enough, they make characters who actually have amnesia too. <laughs> like, god damn it. Uh Remember this game? No. Looks like this is a scoreboard for a dartboard. <laughs> it's a dartboard! Uh, I, uh, I remember seeing this before. Come on, who hasn't seen a dartboard before? No, that's not what I mean. I feel like I've seen it somewhere in this building before. It's just, uh, this board is different from a normal dartboard, you know? Haven't we all been to the rec room before? Like, all of us? I don't know, do, do you think, did the spray our wrist, no, our, the spray of the wrist time thing doesn't happen in this timeline, I guess. Yep. <sighs> let's try, oh. Let's try it out. What do you mean, try it out? Isn't it obvious? There's only two ways to use a dartboard. Either you use it to hold pizza. <sighs> yeah, isn't that a good joke? We're trying to make a joke about what it's shaped like, I guess? Yeah. There's never been a funny joke in the series, and it's so many of them. Or you throw darts at it. A dartboard. If only I had some darts. If only I had some... Oh, oh our, reward, our reward is oh. the AB. <laughs> AB. Uh, our AB game thing. Look, darts. Are those missiles? <sighs> They're darts. Look over there! Yeah, I saw it already. I think it's a green memory card. We can't get it out there. That glass is covering it. Uh, if only it was it? clearly part of the game. I think we can get some darts out, though. Okay. I'll grab a couple. Boink, boink. We have darts. That's way more darts than we need. A bunch of tiny sidewinders, huh? You know, the ones they mount on the underside of fighter planes? These aren't missiles. They're darts. They're not funny. Bye, stop. Time to get a score. Get a score of 100 with three darts. However, the first dart must land in the green area, and the second in the blue area, and the third in the red area. So to this throw is a literally dart. the same puzzle. Yeah. That's good. To throw a dart in a particular area, grab the bit the bit. Huh. That's weird. I could have sworn I've seen these darts before, somewhere. The way it worked before, right, is that outside ring is one time, second ring is two times, three, third ring is three times. Yeah. And the colors mean nothing for score. Yep. It's just an order thing. Green, blue, red. All right, time to do some number crunching. Whatever. Time for some darts. All right, time to just stare blankly at this while we look for the configuration that leads to the number 100. My favorite kind of puzzle to Let's Play. What do we have to do? Solving math. We have to make a hundred. And it has to be green, blue, red. In that order. Not that it really matters, because you could just... Once you... Well, I guess it does matter, because it has to be... The order doesn't matter, because who gives a shit? But uh, we do have to have one green, one blue, and one red in our solution. <sighs> Time for lots of math. When you throw it on the one spot, it's just... You're not timing it by its number, right? You just tend to get by that. So if you threw the red dart on red seven, it would just be seven. Or I'm sorry, seven. Or if you threw the blue dart on seven, it would just be seven. What do you mean by on seven? Like you threw the dart on the blue part of seven. I believe the outer ring is times one and okay. the inner ring is times three. Okay. I think that's how it was. They didn't, they didn't re-explain that part, did they? No. I think I got it. Got it? Yeah, see, so yeah, I gotta get the order right. So green is first. Okay. Then blue is second, so that goes here. And then red, third. Wow! Right, we're free! Time to go to back to things that are fun. Alright. Yeah, that <laughs> was not shit. good. Uh, not ideal. I, uh, I, math problems are so boring for puzzles. Ah, piece of cake. You see that? My dart skills are undeniable. Wait, you actually threw them? Why don't yeah, you... I saw it quite clearly. 
It was very nice. So very nice. Do you really think you had to stand the whole two meters and 37 centimeters away from the dartboard, though? I'm a fair man. My high school, my high school voted me most likely to be a judge. You know. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's great now, but look. See the display case? It's open. Great. Now we can get that green memory card. I bet it plays the hologram. Because data. <laughs> We're gonna have to pull out all the stops on this job. Sound like you're in a ice movie. Should I have worn a cat suit? Ugh. I think I'll just throw I think I just threw up a little. Eh, he's probably in good shape. Besides everywhere not every everybody in the ice movie always wears a sweet suit. Blah, 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 That's not blah, true. Blah. No one in Rogue One wore a sweet suit. <laughs> or acting. Well acting. <laughs> or <laughs> acting. <laughs> anyway, anyway, done with that puzzle. What the, is that like? Oh hey, it's that one puzzle that we did. Like lights out. No, remember it's, oh, a, wait. it's that one we did I for the one there's place. A, there's a case in here. <laughs> huh. You just gotta... It's behind glass, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just do the thing on the wall. Yeah. Oh, you just make the match, right? Yeah. Are you just clicking? Oh. Oh. Not every day you see a... I'm not even sure what to call it. Is it a cabinet? Not every day you see a cabinet like this. Looks like each of these cubbies has something in it. The one on the left looks like a binder. And on the right, it looks like you've got a red memory card. We can't get to them though, they've got glass doors. Punch through them. All right, here goes. Don't! This is reinforced glass. The only thing you're going to break is your hand. How does- how Then do you try kicking that? it. Reinforced glass will not stop a foot, uh, kick, trust me. It's gonna touch screen, yeah. Change the colors to the correct ones by selecting the hexagons and triangles. Remember that you only have five moves to complete this puzzle. Huh. I feel like I've done this puzzle somewhere before. Ah, well. Doesn't really matter, I guess. I don't remember this one. Was it lights out? It was lights out. Yeah. Was our was our goal just to make the, the sun light up? Yeah. The outline of the triangles? Yep. Okay. So you just gotta make that glass uh, light up. I love these so much. Biggest fan. <laughs> oh right, you only get a certain number of moves. Yeah, you have five moves. A big fan. Once again, there's just there just is a correct answer. Hope you remember it. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be. These are gonna be just as fun. It's the best puzzles. This is the greatest hits of this game, Andrew. They made a whole room where instead of making new puzzles, they recycled the least fun ones. Is that what they're doing? Because I thought they just weren't playing. Or they just weren't making the game. It seems like an odd mistake you've made. Yeah. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Bling 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 bling. I don't. Oh, 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 oh. I don't even want to do it. I don't want to, man. I just hate it. <laughs> I'll do it. Enjoy. I hate it. I hate it. I never want to look at lights out ever again. Also, it's so much faster for you to do it. Yeah, it with is. the mouse. Enjoy. I can't even do commentary on these. It's like, great, it's lights out. Huzzah. <laughs> yeah, it's not really like, there's nothing really to say. <laughs> Same thing I did. Uh. There's dumb. <laughs> I 
It won't even let you click past a certain point. What do you mean past a certain point? Oh! Okay. I was hoping that maybe that would... Oh shit, it occurs to me that we don't even know what the solution's supposed to be. Yeah, that's the problem. Oh. I thought we were supposed to light up the outside, so you think it's just all supposed to be red? Maybe. Oh. I thought we were supposed to make the suns light up, you know, like just the triangles. We we're probably yeah. supposed to just get rid of all of the red to the green, period. Yeah, so let's just get rid of the green? Yeah. It's a hard sell. Okay, uh, can we not? You can do it, I believe in you. Can we just like... <laughs> God. Yeah, can we just not do that? <laughs> Aren't you having fun? Isn't this a fun time for you? Not particularly. Are you having a good time? I I'm... I would start from the top, I think. Fuck. I feel like it starts with the top. But I don't know. That's the opposite of the solution. Yeah, well, the pro well, it'd be nice if I could just keep that and then just go backwards from it. Maybe you start by pressing the triangle in the middle, that screen. Yes. Because that would ungreen the top one without without turning the top screen. So I don't know how you get rid of the side ones. Oof. Oof, I don't know. Uh. Ah! Oh, oh. No, you had it! You misclicked! Do you remember how to do that? Do you, tell me what you remember what you did. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> That's uh. so fun! Yeah, that was great. Burm, 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 burm. I would I will say that not, that uh, Zero Escape always has the hardest puzzles. Oh uh, man, the hard, I've never, only the best puzzles. I've never been stumped in my entire life until I played Zero Escape games. Uh, mostly because other puzzles aren't as bad to play. Um, did I did I solve it? That's a weird form of sarcasm that just also selectively rem forgets that you played The Witness. <laughs> yeah, but no one really wanted to watch it. No, yeah, no one did. Must be the answer. Didn't stop you. <laughs> Look! Yay. The glass doors. They're open. Well done. We contributed nothing. That was some good work, Sigma. I like Sigma looks back at the screen and he's like, no one's fucking doing Just anything. Lauren. Yeah. Did it close on you? Excuse me? Apparently, yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's a binder. Let's have a look. There's only a single piece of paper in here. It says Q Chamber Special AB Game. What? Also, are we supposed to think that in in there's three white doors, right? Okay. So like. Aren't we supposed to think that somebody else would have gone in this room during some of the other endings? Or how many people are, are alive the other times went to round three? Is it always just us and no one else? What do you mean? When we get to round three, the white doors? Yeah. Like how, like, the white doors don't have a secondary switch where you switch between three doors, right? It's just the one door. Yeah, it's just the one door. So that means that 
But I'm trying to remember who's alive the other two times we've gotten to round three because it's super rare. Uh, like, wasn't there at least one? Clover and Temioji died, but K and Luna survived, and we survived. So I'm just sitting here wondering, like, has anyone been to Q already? In another timeline? No, I think uh, I think Clover and Temioji were the ones set to go to Q. You think? So you think they went to like the office or whatever? Because there are three options. Yeah. You think they went to the other one that wasn't Q? Yes. Because this is a weird chamber to be in, especially since the puzzles don't explain how to solve them, and the solutions, the mechanics of how to solve them were explained in a different room. Ye it's the morphogenic room. Yeah, somehow. that's... I'm not sure about that. You found the instructions for the Q Chambers AB game. You can review them in the archive. What does that mean? The AB game Q edition. Hints for the AB game, Q edition. All three people will definitely choose ally. Three people will definitely choose betray. One is a mysterious mirror man. He will always do whatever his opponent does. Okay. What? The fuck do you First mean? First answer. Strive for nine with six cooperators. Second answer. We must be the only ones to surpass nine. Okay. Wait, what was that? Oh, never mind. I think it's the answer to how to solve one of the other puzzles around here. I think the A B room happens in here. Might even be on that screen. Oh god, you're probably right. Let's look at the dice books. Oh look at the dice books. Looks like a four purple books. Let's go through each one of them. Ice. What the There's nothing written here. Huh? I mean, all the passages are blank. Pages. Shh. Are the other books the same? Let's have a look. You could look yourself, old man. Yeah. People have a problem with that in this game. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing here. People really struggle with the concept of uh, self-preservation. This one's blank, too. We can only remove one book at a time, ever. Huh? Something wrong? Is there something in that one? No, the pages are all blank. It's just... Just what? Well, there are some pictures in between the pages back here. Three of them, it looks like. You found a picture of a blue dye, a picture of a green dye, and a picture of a red dye. For some reason. Oh, they each take up their own freak... Oh, no, the dice game, Andrew. Oh, no! We have to... <laughs> You're gonna have to play the dice again. game again. I they, hated this. They really did bring back the worst three games, didn't they? Keith, these they are brought, the best puzzles that he came up with. They brought back the lights out configuration from the shelves, the dice game, and the dark game. Just the three least fun ones. Yeah, photograph all of these so you can keep track of them. I will say one, one thing they did that was kind of nice, Andrew. Mm-hmm. These are the three colors of your three pens in the memo. So you could write the three memos on the screen directly with those yeah. three colors. So that's nice-ish. I think that was the point. Yeah, but, but we have, but we have Mr. Excuse and Mrs. you. We have Mr. and Mrs. Dickington. We have we some deserve. important dignitaries here, and yeah. we are not losing them. Look at exactly. they're global. <laughs> <laughs> the global empire. All right, let's do it. Let's do it before. That's all that was in there. All yeah. right. It's fucking cute. Aren't you excited? Roll the six dice to move them where they need to go. Oh right, I should. The probably. direction of each side of each dice must match a specific pattern. Choose which dice you would like to move by selecting it. You can roll it vertically, horizontally, using the directional you buttons. Don't kill yourself. Okay. All right, let's give it a shot. Uh, do you change the? Okay. Is it the same angle, more or less? No, they change the angle completely. But is it the same direction, at least? Yeah, slightly. Alright. Not even gonna lie, I'm gonna go get lunch. Enjoy, Andrew. Fucking hungry, and I can't even take part in this, honestly. I think that's right. Yeah, that's right. These are the worst puzzles that this game could end on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah! Just gotta make that move all by one. Yay! Fuck! Fucking fuck you, dude! Yeah, you, you fucking, you over here, sit here like, this is a stream to fucker and say you shouldn't kill people. No, no, this is acceptable. This is literally equal to fucking 
goddamn murdering your dog. Like, this is just not an acceptable thing. John Wick, we're going there. <laughs> it's like, you just can't do this to people. Oh my god, it's the opposite it's, direction! It's He's like, yeah. can they all? Just accept it. Just accept it. It's, it's a two, it's a six. It's all you wanted, right? Your fucking picture, show it. There's no instruction manual that says, hey, you gotta make it exactly as the picture says in the same orientation. Do you want me to, like, actually what's fucking... What's agony is half of them are wrong. Turn it! Just turn the dice! <laughs> Just, like, 360 <laughs> spin it, motherfucker! Wow! Look at that! Done! There's no... Yeah, there's no universe explanation for why I can't just spin them. I'm sure... Oh, no. I'm sure there is! No, there's not. Someone's gonna come up with some fucking grandiose explanation Morphogen about how... Morphogenic dice mechanics. Somehow, like, Sigma's hands are literally tied to a bomb, and if he doesn't fucking just move it with his thumbs like this, then it's going to blow up What's and kill everybody? The one way that they could explain this in-universe, Andrew, is if this was on a screen, and uh, Sigma himself was playing a video game. But he's playing with... He's holding real dice. No, because you know what? He's just being a dick about it. Okay, here's an idea, Andrew. Yes. You know how it always lands in the same it seems to always land the same way no matter what yes what if that's based on what slot it is on the, the uh, screen and it'll never change what if what you actually have to do is switch the two green dice think that might work like it might literally be it, it, may, it might never ever face any direction other than that one on that tile and it might be that you have to switch the two dice with each other huh yeah now put the six in there. I bet that it, 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 yeah, it's already facing the right way. You can see. You just have to make it be the right one up. That's totally what it is. Yeah. So now then you got to switch uh, the reds with each other. I just want to point out, by the way, that that's not acceptable. That's a that's literally not an acceptable fucking solution to the problem is that oh you just did the wrong fucking dice because that's not how dice work literally ever i've never that is how dice work what it is how dice work how i mean you've been watching them the whole time they're not tricking you no i'm saying like, that these like, dice are working like a normal 3d object they're not like switching the sides on you to fuck with you or anything I'm saying that there's so no like, reason why I cannot orient the dice to be... I mean, there's no reason you can't do what we've been saying this whole time, which is just pick them up and do whatever the fuck you want with them. But if we're talking about a game where you have to rotate them, then yes, they will always face the same direction, apparently. Well, no, because as I... As you've been kind of proving like, to yourself. Look. Yeah, but those are separate, different squares. Yeah, but I, it's the... I think it's just a matter of... I think that no matter what, it, whenever you take it to the same square, the number... If you have to get the same number in the same square, no matter how much you shake it around, it'll always be the same direction. And I think you've... I think you've struggled against it for so long that you've basically proven it. We did it! Yay! I'm gonna turn my controller back on. Oh, that was a long one. Got it. We, we proved a mathematical theorem, everybody. Wow, look at, look at, look at this! There's no screen, there's no glass! You just could touch them, Sigma! At any moment, pick them up like a child does! Mm -hmm.